Morning y'all, it's Steve-O out here on the Tennessee River. Hopefully my audio is working this time. I had to make like a music video, my last video. I forgot to plug in the microphone and it didn't record any audio. We are in that same spot we've been in the past few videos, a 38 foot hole on the main channel. We've done pretty good here for quite a few trips so I thought I'd start here and give it another shot. If you're catching catfish somewhere, stay there and catch them. Hopefully we catch some today. It's Tuesday, September 13th, about 10.45 in the morning. Check out my new hoodie mama made me. Pretty sweet, huh? We're eventually going to have some bulk made so we can sell them. She's just making me a few right now. It takes quite a while for her to make them. So we're probably going to have to have some ordered from a professional company in case anybody wants one or a t-shirt. She made me some t-shirts too. We got fresh skipjack for bait and some live bluegills. They're smaller bluegills, but that's all I caught. Let's get baited up, see what we can catch. It was 50 something degrees earlier. It seems a little warmer now. I might have to lose this hoodie. Of course, the wind's blowing us towards the sun. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Spot lock is awesome. But it, your boat aims where the wind blows or where the current blows. And right now, the wind's stronger than the current. So we're facing that way. Into the sun. Into the sun. Into the sun. Caught a big old flathead here a few weeks ago and some decent sized blues. Hopefully we can catch some more. Y'all remind me to clean my boat. It is freaking nasty. Yep, time for this thing to go. Too dead Jim hot. It is super cool though. Mama did a fantastic job. She's pretty dang crafty. Pretty dang crafty, that mama. Big old skipjack head on this one. I use a Carolina rig for most of my rigs. It's a 10 aught hook, 80 pound leader to a swivel, to like a glowing rubber bead with a sinker slide and a five ounce sinker. I generally use that, maybe different sinkers, but a Carolina rig is what I mostly use. When I'm dragging, dragging baits, this rig will have a float on it down here towards the end. One of these rigs has a float on it because it's one of my dragging rigs, but I just take that float and push it way up high so the bait still sinks down low. I know some people have asked me why I have that float on there. It's because I'm lazy. I don't feel like taking it off. It's a dragging rig. I just push the float up. The main line is 30 pound Momoi Diamond Mono. Gonna suspend them. I let the baits hit the bottom. Then I lift them up a few feet. Just let them hang there. This one has a 12 eye hook, it's a little bigger. Probably should have used this one for my big skip jacket. Skip jack body section. Same setup, Carolina rig, except the sinker slide is an orange one. And the weight is a bank sinker, six ounces. A big old skipjack fillet piece. It's a body section cut in half like a fillet. A live bluegill on this one. We're fishing. Oh yeah, baby. Let's see if we can catch some kind of bait.
dang bee. I guess it was a bee. Some kind of big old flying bug. Looks like this one's hung on something. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Pulling something up. Probably a dang log or something. Yep, a stick. Stick fish. And we lost our bait. It's okay. At least we got to keep our rig. Another fillet body section. I'm shocked we haven't even got a bite yet. The past three or four trips, we caught a fish in the first ten minutes. Maybe they've all moved out. Gone somewhere else. Tired of getting hooks in their mouths right here, I guess. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. Is that the headpiece? Ah, he let go. Son of a biscuit. He got off. Dang it. Oh, crap. He broke my hook off, my whole leader. Dang it, that was a good fish too. Dang it, Bobby. Man, that sucks, that was a good fish. That's why you retie your leaders every so often. I'm sure that one was on there forever. Don't be lazy. Dang it. There we go. Another fish on. And my other line too.
got him. And he got out of my other line. Now it's hunging something. Too shabby. Not too shabby. I think that one's hung up. Ow. Decent blue cat. We're taking. I think that's a fish. That might be a fish over there. Well, let's let him go. that big Starting to catch fish. Lost a good one, but that's okay. He's pretty. He ate that bluegill, didn't he? That was that bluegill. Sweet. Let's let him go. on these rods. Another skipjack head. Skipjack body section. And let's get a bluegill. Another bluegill. Hey Steve-O, how come you don't check your knots every now and then? How long do you use them till you change them? I can't believe you lost that big fish just cause you're plumb lazy. Yeah, Stevie Billy, you're right. I should have checked my knots. Those have been on there for a long time. That's what happens. Always check your knots. Every few trips, change them out. Make sure you got good leaders, good knots. No nicks in the line or that crap will happen. I'm nibbling on that one. It's only supposed to get up to 70 something today. That's pretty dad gym cool. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's currently 73 degrees. With a cool breeze. I want to check the bait on that one. It got hit quite a few times earlier. Just as I suspected. Can't catch a fish with no bait. There we go, there we go. Dead. 
Here comes the love boat. The love boat. Doo -doo -doo. This thing's going to make pretty big waves, I'm sure. Can I bite? Everybody hold on, hold on tight. Here we go. Lord have mercy. If you had a boat that big, you could put 117 rod holders on that thing. You might catch more fish. 117? I'd imagine that's quite a few. the hankering for a bluegill. Oh yeah! Another one. That's two on the bluegill and one on skipjack. A big one on a skipjack head we missed. Awesome. Let's put him back. Let him get bigger. You ready to go home, fella? Go tell the big boys to bite. See ya. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Let's put another bluegill on there. He's tiny, but it's a bluegill. Alrighty, y'all. We got to go. We had a good day of fishing. Caught a few fish. Lost a good one, but that's okay. I appreciate all y'all watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go to the house, get some lunch, and tackle a honeydew list. Y'all have a good one.